Welcome back to 5D Mystery School. Let's get into it. So if you guys are following me on IG, you know that I often open the floor for you guys to give me topics to go over with my content. So here was the topic that came up. Planets, houses, I've been hooked since looking up my natal chart. And hopefully you all have been finding your natal chart to be more of a self-discovery journey as well. So let's go over the houses, their planet rulers, and some things that I think that will help you. All right. First, let's go over the meaning of the houses first through 12. So the first house deals with the self, physique, outlook on life, personality. The second house is money, sense of values, earned income, possessions. Third house, siblings, neighbors, short journeys, communication, talking, writing. Fourth house, home, roots, family and racial traditions. Fifth house, self-expression, children, love affairs, recreation, hobbies, sports. Sixth house, work and service, employment, pest and small animals, health and diet. Seventh house is others, partnerships. This can be romantic partnerships or business partnerships and legal contracts. Eighth house, sex, magic, taxes, insurance, inheritance, other people's money, OPM. Ninth house, goals and direction, religion, meaning, higher education, law, philosophy, and foreign trips. 10th house, profession, prestige, status, public standing, corporations, politics, career. 11th house, ideals, altruism, friends, social groups, clubs, hopes, and wishes. And the 12th house is like the house of the unconscious, right? The house that you that's really not beknownst to you. Sacrificial service, behind the scenes, institutions, prisons, asylums, self undoing, repressions. And usually people that have planets in their 12th house could signal some type of neurodiversity or your brain just uh, working in a different way or often what society would call like a mental disorder or mental illness. All right, so the first house is an element of fire and cardinal, second house, earth and fixed, Third is air and mutable. Fourth is water and cardinal. Fifth is fire and fix. Sixth is earth and mutable. Seventh is air and cardinal. Eighth is water and fixed. Ninth is fire and mutable. Tenth is earth and cardinal. Eleventh is air and fix. Twelfth is water and mutable. All right, so now we're gonna go over which sign sits in which house and the house planet ruler. Okay, so for your first house, the sign is Aries, for the second is Taurus, third is Gemini, fourth is Cancer, fifth is Leo, sixth is Virgo, seventh is Libra, eighth is Scorpio, ninth is Sagittarius, tenth is Capricorn, eleventh is Aquarius, twelfth is Pisces. All right, so planet rulers. For the first, we have Mars. For the second, it's Venus. For the third, Mercury. For the fourth is the moon. For the fifth is the sun. Six, Mercury. Seventh, Venus. Eighth, Pluto. Ninth, Jupiter. Tenth, Saturn. Eleventh, Uranus. Twelfth is Neptune. If you have Pisces in your 12th house or Neptune in your 12th house, your dreams will be lit. That's just a tip for you. That's like having Capricorn or Taurus in your second house. Your money is going to be, you're going to be wealthy. And if not, uh, making money won't be a hard thing for you to do. So sometimes you'll see Lilith in your chart. Lilith is just your dark femininity. If you want to know what Lilith is like in the signs, just pause to take a look at that. All right, so we went over your true node, AKA your north node, AKA Rahu, or your south node, or K2. So, Let's just talk about different things. You can just pause to read. Your North Node increases benefits like Jupiter expands. It's your calling or mission, where you're headed in your life, what you need to learn in the future or in this existence, your destination, the unknown, the challenge. And sometimes or most of the time, your North Node is hard for your soul to make that transition from your South Node, which is its comfort zone to your North Node, which is going beyond your comfort zone and growing. Your South Node decreases malefic like Saturn and contracts. Our instincts, where we came from, what we already know, the past, the launch pad, the familiar, the comfort. And let me know if you guys want me to make a video about the signs or the planets and their meanings. But once you start to do the research and you put 
you know, the planet and its meaning in these different houses, then you can start to understand and overstand what your natal chart means. But it's more than just putting a planet in a house. You have conjunctions, you have trines, you have triangles, you have squares and what those different things means as well. All right. And just for a bonus, your angles in your natal chart, you have your MC and IC. Take a pause to read. The MC is the cuffs of the 10th house. It represents worldly success, your public image, career, authorities. The midheaven is what you'll grow towards in life, the highest you'll get. The IC is the cup of the 4th house. This point represents your private life, home, and family. It's hidden from the world. You share it only with your closest ones. The IC is where you will come from and your roots. All right, so that's all for today. I really hope this video has helped you on your self-discovery journey with using your natal chart. If so, pass it along to a friend who also might benefit from it. And don't forget to like and share. Take care of yourself and each other. I love you. Peace. 5D Mystery School.